is Sophilia Jacobson with your News in 90 for Tuesday, October 29th. A group of nurses from the Tampa General Hospital are making sleeping bags for the homeless. These warm waterproof sleeping bags are being made from sterile surgical wrap that would have been otherwise put in the trash and gone to waste. According to nurse anesthetist Nicole Hubbard, the recycling initiative was inspired by seeing another Florida hospital make sleeping bags on social media. With more nurses stepping in to help with the initiative, the Tampa General Hospital has already made 100 sleeping bags to hand out to the Tampa Bay homeless population just in time for the upcoming winter season. Three New Jersey homes caught fire after a small plane crash occurred around 11 this morning. The Cessna 414 aircraft crashed into a home on Berkeley Avenue in Colonia, New Jersey. Witnesses say that the fire from the home that was hit quickly erupted and spread to two neighboring homes. According to locals, Colonia is a heavy residential area with tree-lined streets. The fire has since been kept under control after a group of up to 200 firefighters from nine different firehouses battled the flames. There has been no word yet on fatalities or injuries. The NCAA will be holding a meeting today to discuss the possibility of college athletes earning money through endorsements. This controversy has been a hot topic in the world of sports ever since California passed a law allowing student athletes to benefit financially from selling the rights to their name, image, and likeness. Although California's law is not set to take into effect until the year 2023, the National Collegiate Athletic Association is already being forced to consider revising their policy that prohibits athletes from being paid. That's your news in 90, but your Florida news is always on at WUFT.org.